Give me 66. 28. Holy oh. shit. Isn't that... Yeah, that's four fives, a six, and a two? Yeah. Is that AOE? <laughs> that's AOE. Yeah, of course uh, it is. 20 foot radius from the center. So I cast it on... How far away are they? Uh, you're th three floors up. No, no, you're, you're a... You're a floor and a half up at this point. So you're like 15 feet up. Um, and about... Actually, you guys are... Eh, I'll, you guys will be caught in the blast, but you, there's like this big staircase in the way, so you guys can make your saving throws well, at I plus can control, five. Well, I can control the size of this thing. No, it's always a 20-foot radius uh, fireball. Hmm. Can I only control the... Where's you can the control the detonation point. Let's see... Uh, start making your saving rolls. I'm just going to read through this. Is it against spell? So the wizard points and speaks the range, distance, and height to which fireball is to burst. So could I not cast it no. behind them? Yeah, you could point behind them. Um, I just want to hit them okay, and not yeah, us. So, <laughs> like, right, so you're not, you're not putting it in the center of them. You're putting it at the end of them, the back does of them. The, does the uh, blast no, wave do fine. the same amount of damage as the impact? Is it all the... It's all, all one... It all take damage. Anything so, within 20 feet of the impact point takes 66 damage. Anything beyond that takes no damage. Yeah. So then he just casts past them, yeah, yeah. 19 feet past them, and rip. No, no, we're going we're gonna to make no, sure no, no. it Guys, this the numbers this, this game has been insane. <laughs> he just puts it at the base back of them. They're within 20 feet, but we're at 35 feet or something. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. get up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fine. I yeah, cast he, it where he, we're not hurting you cast it at the center of them. You cast yes. it behind them, you're clear. You're fine. Yes. Yeah, so you cast it behind them. This huge, this wave of heat and this shock wave blows over you guys um, as you see these ground soldiers on the floor just kind of like melt and fall to pieces, like crying and screaming. For Do all of them just die? Just a few seconds. All the ground soldiers die. The Neil, I cast general, grease on the fire. The general himself, <laughs> Nat 20 on his saving throw. <laughs> oh, wow. So it's uh, half. But, 14 damage. Do I still have his HP he up? He took four earlier or something like that? What did he take from yeah. me? Yeah. He is still up. It could have been four because it's plus five. He took six? Yeah, he took six. Right. If I, if you'll let me, I cast Grease on uh, the Next area. round. Okay. Next round, though. Yeah, so the, the castle... Dude, there's tapestries all over the place that are now on fire. The, the, this is a, a wooden keep. So parts of the walls are now on fire. Like there's parts of it that are stone, but parts of it are wood too. Those are on fire. The part of the the lower part of the um up 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 uh, the spiral staircase has started to catch a little bit of fire. Not a ton, but you know parts of it are on yeah. fire because there's trappings and whatnot. And, you know, nice finishes that are made of oils and what's. Uh, so that's <clears throat> and you see the general like stumbling backwards, uh, looking at you guys like eyes the size of dinner plates. Uh, managed to somehow tumble through the doors and like drag himself out into the open courtyard outside. I slap Zanzel on the shoulder and say, "Holy shit!" <laughs> and then I go running after him. Wait, so there's more guards now? No, no, no. They're the, the guards are dying. Okay. He's uh, running out to the main the hallway. The general's the running. The general's yes. running. Yes. Uh, how far can I throw a bolus accurately? It says on your character sheet. Hold Has on. range on look. the attack. Uh, oh, Seven thousand miles. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Bolus is actually there's a dash where the range should be. For infinite. the bolus, Very that, I, I believe that is infinite. That is improper, sir. We should fix this. Um, your bolus, 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 bolus is oh shit, fucking hell! It uses the goddamn stupid the... other system that's retarded as. Sorry. Oh, it's in the advanced combat. I don't. I don't know what. Yeah, it's a combat attacker. I was gonna look. Uh, it up. where is? <sighs> okay, it is. A sling uh, bullet is fifty yards at small range, so I would imagine that's about the equivalent. So this goes th thirty, sixty, ninety yards. So is he ninety feet away from us? Well, that's yards. Stupid. You can throw a bullet feet. ninety yards. I mean, at minus five, but you could throw it a bullet. It doesn't sound field. stupid to me, Neil. <laughs> Sounds just right. <laughs> All right, at, at short range, that is uh, 30 yards. So you can throw a bullet 30 yards. Yeah, so. Um, which is, yeah, this guy's of... within 30 yards, so you can throw chuck it. it at him. Okay. Roll the hit. 
Um, D20 plus. Okay, so first of all, we've got the first our doesn't roll one. missile adjust is five. Back uh -huh. attack, because he's running, is two. Two? Two. Uh, surprise is no two? No surprise. Oh. Um, Nothing do I is get surprising a... this man right now. He just got hit by a fireball. Okay. Do I get any advantage for being on the high ground? Um, no. Bullets can hold on. The character must have. Da -da -da -da. If the bullets hit their target, they automatically create knockdown chance. If the victim fall, fails to save him through. He has to spend a full round. Okay. I hit him. You oh, hit God. him. He falls okay. down. Okay. He has to make a saving throw versus death to prevent, stop, uh, keep himself from falling down. Natural 20 again. Okay. The bullet wraps around one of his legs, but not the other one. Uh, and he manages to hobble out of the room. Uh, mark down one less bullet. Okay, we all run. We pursue. Yeah. I throw uh, a second bolus. <laughs> Uh, he is no longer in... He's outside now. The wall's in your way. Okay. You guys run, no, no. You guys are all inside currently. He has left the inside. Oh, okay. So he's running out to we the We pursue. Out. Okay. We pursue. You all pursue. You get to the bottom of the staircase. The The, the main chamber down below is on fire. Um, meanwhile, Spades is like just barely getting to the top of the third floor staircase. You know, looking down Spades. You heard this loud noise. You heard this... Yeah but you didn't know what it was. And now yeah. you come out and you feel the heat from like the fires burning all around you. You notice yeah. the tapestries are on fire, the woods on fire, everything is on fire. You look down and you see your companions like uh, moving through the blaze in between things uh, going for the front door. Is there anything like um damn it, like a ceiling piece thing hanging out? Like anything? Chandelier? Could... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. A chandelier that you could ride to the ground? Well, I have, like, the lassoing ability, so I was thinking of, like, grabbing onto it and, like, going all Indiana Jones This can Jones only style. go well. Yes. <laughs> this um, can only go well. Do you have a rope well. on you currently? Yeah, well, I put it on my character sheet, but... When did you add the rope to your character sheet? When Just I did now? my character description, I wanted to validate a bunch of shit I put. That works with my backstory. Did you, did you add this since the first time we played with your character? Yeah, but you can't see my character sheet. Right. Whatever. We'll, we'll say you have rope. It's okay. fine. It's fine. Um, like, I mean, is there a super easy way to come down the stairs? Give me like, an intelligence being... check. Give me an intelligence check. I can walk. Like, if like if it's super easy to come down, I won't do it. Well, she I mean, beat us to the staircase. ground. Give me an intelligence huh? check. Yes. Let me go see. I think I'm just ten or twelve or something. Uh, ten. 14. No, you you look around. You don't see anything other than the staircase. All right, then I rush down the staircase. Okay, you start running down the staircase as fast as you can. I need to make some saving throws for the building to see uh, if it catches fire and how quickly it catches fire. Wait, I th I thought they were on the ground. What did I shoot a fireball at? You shot a fireball at the ground. In the ground, just made of dirt, and it's the ground. Uh, no, the the, the ground inside the building is stone. Okay. He's saying the tapestries are on fire, the wall is on fire. The entranceway is this very large room that goes up three floors, kind of like a mall entrance. Oh, that, that's fine. I just want to know what's catching on fire. Like I, that's all. The, the walls of the building and you know the the joists that hold things together and all the furniture okay. and the stairs. Okay. Holy shit. Right. Um, it, it rolled a one, a two, and a six for its saving throws against fire. This is bad. Um, the entire keep, the entire entrance way to the keep is now on fire. Interesting uh, that it starts doing that after he runs through the doorway, but not before. No, no, this, this is the well, because the fireball hit, and then he managed to like, you know, he just had to walk oh, through. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The timing of it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, he's he's fine. We're fucked. I get it. Yeah. Neil, are you saying that there's a path blocking our way because it's crumbling? Oh. Uh, I'm saying that you guys. It takes a while for this stuff to happen. I'm saying you guys. He gets out without too much of a problem. You guys can get out without too much of a problem. But by the time Spades gets to the bottom, it is a roaring inferno oh, on the ground floor. That's fine. Wait, so right. she took a, mo a more dangerous and longer path to the bottom? No, Spades took the exact same the path. Times half. Spades oh. has half the movement oh, speed. Oh, that's, right. that's right. I mean, <laughs> let, me argue, if I, let me argue one thing. If I saw that the fire is roaring, I would have tried to, like, 
if it's jumpable, I would have thought about that or trying to see an alternative to taking a super long road. Uh, I mean, you rolled a 14 on your intelligence check, so you failed but that. since when do I have to think about intelligence to pick roads? Like, it's super new right now. I mean, you, you popped out of the top. You're like, oh, is there a way I can get down more quickly? No shit. Okay, I'm going to run down the staircase. And so you start running down the staircase, and by the time you get to the bottom of the staircase... I want to say one more like, thing. Oh, shit, this, is, this has caught. Like, it didn't look that bad when you were up there, but now by the time you've got down here, sure. things have just gone up in flames. Like, sure, it sure. rolled a one, a two, and a six on the saving throw. Sure. You know, it... It it went up like a fucking set of matchsticks. Yeah. Please, lawyer. Please, lawyer. You know, I, I don't want to shut you down, but I, I want you to understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, I mean, I have another way I can come down, but we didn't talk about my character background, so you might not let me do it. But technically, I wanted to have climbing spikes, and I have mountaineering in my background, so I could have, like, freaking climbed down. If you it probably is wouldn't have that set up, though, just an everyday and running yeah. around. Attached huh? rope, everything would be too long. Like, just doing that? Like, climbing to, like, down? To get, to get your climbing shoes out of your backpack, get your climbing All right, shoes whatever, let's go, I'm just rope. running. It, it, no, it wouldn't have worked. Um, so, spades, you get down there, and it is a roaring inferno on this, in the room. Um, I'm going to pause with you, let you think about what you want to do with this roaring inferno in front of you, while we hop back to everyone else. Um, you guys have gotten out to the front. You see the general is just, he's running for the stables. In fact, hes he was a little bit ahead of you the entire time. He's actually at the stables right now. Um, well, he was a little bit ahead of us. He, he was at the bottom of the staircase pointing at us, getting hit by a fireball. Yeah, he got hit by the fireball. He stumbled around. You guys ran down. He ran out. You guys he's have like been 20 feet in front of us. The stables, the stables were only like 40 feet. Yeah, he's not hugely in front of you. Okay. Um, but he's at the stables, and he's, like, trying to get this horse out, and the horse is having a hard time. And he looks back and sees you guys. Um, you look around. You see that there are f four archers on the wall that have turned, and they're just, like, slack-jawed staring at you. And as you guys run out, and he's tugging with the horse, he's like, shoot them! Shoot them! And the archer's like, you know, there's four of them. There's four of you right now. So they turn and start drawing their bows at you guys. So we should roll initiative for you. So quick question. When yeah. we uh, when we run past, is it audible, the uh, the crumbling of the doorway or whatever happens that we is no longer pass passable? Um, I, I wouldn't say it's no longer passable. No, nothing has collapsed inside of it. But as you run through the doorway, you are seared by the heat. You don't take any damage, but it burns your face and it right. hurts. But I mean, I, okay. So what what I'm getting at is, would we know Spades is stuck inside, or would we figure that she would run past just like we did? Would you take the time to stop and think about whether Spades can make it out or not? What I would do is keep running, and what so if I heard something like something crumbling, I would look. If I didn't, I'd keep going forward. Okay. Um, give me. So that's a, why I asked if it's. Give me a perception check for you. Okay. Hollow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, you don't hear anything necessarily crumbling, but as you're running out, you, I mean. As you were running through, you could see everything going up in flames, like very, very quickly. And as you're running through, you can feel the heat just getting more and more intense. And right. you could hear the wood uh, bristle and crack and splinter and, you know, be inflamed. And you're pretty sure, like, fuck, if Spades is still in there, she might not be able to get out. Like, she might be able to. She would have to run through a f an inferno. <coughs> but it, it's, you know, she'd have to literally run through an inferno to get to you. Do you okay. think your love can handle that? <coughs> I mean, I'm not the one that's got to run through. It's, it's Spades' <laughs> love that's got to stay intact here. Um, so these archers, are they, are they on top of the wall that we just like ran through? They're, they're, so this was the keep in the center, and then there's the wall around the keep. These are the archers on the wall around the keep. There's only four of them at this point. The rest of them had formed up below with the uh, spearmen who nice. all got incinerated. Okay. Um, can did we get initiative rolls? Yep, I ran from <coughs> uh, rolled for me and Ron. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'll just go last in the round. Okay. Um, anyone have better than a ten? Nope. Nope. Can what I, do you get? What happens Let's... for me? Um. So 
we're kind of slightly shifted in time. This is happening while you're still running down the staircase. Okay. Yeah. Because we do you, and then we do them, and then we do you, and then we do them, and kind of like stagger. Uh, So two of them get their first shots off before you guys go. Uh, One at Tariq, one at Victarion. Tariq and Victarion... Uh, Tariq, one of them completely misses you, you know, hits the wall behind you. Victarion, another uh, one of the arrows clinks into your three-quarter plate mail and you know, the head breaks on it and falls to the ground. Uh, who had next? Eleven. Victarion? Yeah. I get up to the general, and as I'm getting up to him, I say, uh, surrender. Does it look like he's surrendering? Yes, he falls on his butt, throws his hands in the air. Okay, I put my hand behind his collar, put the spear up down, like, below his gut. Actually, yeah, I point phallus at his dick. And, uh, I say, tell your men to stand down. He tries to croak out a stand down! But, the, you know, the adrenaline and the exhaustion and the fire, uh, and the men are already firing, they don't... That's fine, for this round, but I drag him out and show him to the archers and say, and I say, stand down! All right, they'll dies. get this. They'll get their full round off, and yeah. they'll get his action at the end. Of the Understandable. Round. Um, Ron, I think next? After, uh, I believe Tariq rolled a twelve on initiative. He oh, did. You're right. So yeah. here's uh, one question I want to ask: uh, Are the archers on like one on each wall, or are they all no, no, concentrated? They're, they're all two on each side of the gate. Um, which the the stable is to your right when you come out the door, and the gate is directly in front of you. Got it. Okay. Um, so since I rolled my perception so high, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into full on defensive mode. I take out, uh, a gigantic shield, a full body shield. Okay. I take my, um, this is on your character sheet. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the tower shield. Cool. I just wanted to make sure. Huge tower shield. Um, I, can you describe to me, um, are, are these usually wood or metal? The tower shields? Yes. Um, they are usually wood. A tower shield made of metal would be just too heavy to carry. Okay. I mean, uh, like metal studs and maybe a metal plate in front of it. Right. But it's predominantly wood. Okay, so the, the it's like metal plated on the front, but the, the bulk of it is made out of wood, yeah. Um, and the what about the handle of it? Uh, metal handle. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, wrap a, a huge thing of cloth around m- my shield hand. Mm-hmm. Hold the metal and then go Where to the. the um, I'll rip it off a, a shirt or something. All right, so you you just take your shirt, you rip it off. You know your bare chest is now <clears> partly because you're just ripping this off. T- tie it around your hand. Grab the tower shield here. Your your manly bare chest is laid for all to see. How much chest hair do you have? Three. He's gorgeous. Three. He's sleek. Well, <laughs> He's a some, shaven man. Uh, there is uh, some room for subjectivity here. Some people would say yeah, some amount of chest hair is nice. Some, three, people, say chest hair nice. some people say none is I, nice. I already said I have three. There three you go. chest hairs. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, then I approach the uh, the burning uh, door. Can I see past it? The burning door? Yeah, you can. Uh, you have to squint your eyes and kind of like block the view for a moment, but you can see inside the burning building between like the bright flashes of fire. Okay, so um, how much of an action is that, what I've done so far? I would say that's a full round of action. It's like, okay. pull this giant shield off your back, tear your shirt, wrap it up, and get a good view of what's going on. It's a All full right. round. I'm at the door. Okay. Uh, Ron... Is Jeff making Ron's actions? Jeff is Already making did. Ron's actions. Oh, Ron. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Ron just positions himself next to me, holds his shield up, and has got his sword out. All right. The rest of the archers fire. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, Tariq, which way are you facing? Are you, you're facing the building, right? I'm facing but, the burning building, so yeah. not the archers. Right. So they get back attacks on you. What's your armor class? Without your shield, is it just seventeen? Uh, yes. Although I would lawyer, would they aim for the guy who's going back into the fire? Um, 
Yes, because if they don't, they're going to shoot me and I'm going to die. <laughs> I would say that they, when an easy target is presented, they're going to take it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, two shoot at you. One of them hits you, the other misses. Um, it's like D6 damage, Ryan. Bolts, yeah, two. The arrow hits for two. No, actually, these are uh, longbows. There's military weapons. Six damage from the arrow. That's great. Um, take six damage to the back. And then there are still uh, another two at Victorian. How many were they? You said there's four, I thought. There's four archers, but they get two attacks each. Okay. Um, 16. Victorian, you are left handed or right handed? Right handed. You're right handed, so your shield is in your left hand. Oh, you're dragging him out. Um,. See. So hold on. How are you dragging him out? You have your you have your spear. I was very specifically said I'm holding yeah. him by the cuff. So like You're front or back, I'll let you decide. I'm holding him by his jacket or shirt or whatever. With your right hand or with your left, left hand? Because I then also said my spear is pointed at his dick. Yeah. So you don't. Yeah, right. So your left hand on his cuff, right hand spear at his dick. But imagine this, Neil. I'm, I'm just holding trying to a man in place of my shield. Some mm -hmm. could call that a human shield. Or They'd have to a, make called shots to get around them. Yeah, it, I mean... The question is, is he positioned between... So you come over here, grab him, you're pointing the... I would see it more as, like, you're pointing the, the spear at him as in, like, I'm going to fucking kill him if you don't stop shooting, not as, like, I'm hiding behind him and pointing, Well, you know? think about it. In what world, Neil, is archers point at you and you put the guy behind you you're like, Hey! It'll happen! This will... And then they, oh shit! I didn't see that coming. No, the guy's in front of me. Then how is if he's in front of you? How are you pointing your sword at his dick? With my arm your out, spear. holding the sheer the spear shaft pointed at his dick. I can even do the motion for you. It's jerking off, right? Just so that he is perpendicular to you. I, I take it. I don't give a fuck. Do it. <laughs> I take the damage. Doesn't fucking matter. All right, you take one arrow. Oh. Seven damage. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then the last two shots go at Ron, which are a miss and a miss. One hitting his armor, one hitting the dirt beside him. Is it my turn, Neil? Your turn. Okay, so I see Tariq walking into this burning castle, right? Just about to, yeah. Uh, can I make an engineering check to realize what's about to happen to this castle in terms of how it's going to collapse? Um, hmm. if you roll a 30 or higher on your engineering check, I will allow you to examine it for, uh, 1d2, 1d4 minutes and just figure out what's going to go on. Um, anything less than that, you won't be able to figure it out without more proper, without like a longer Is examination. It it, will this be my entire round if I make this check? Yes. It's like a one. Yeah, if you make if you pass the check, you're gonna spend D four minutes. If D4 I fail round. this check, if you fail the check, you're gonna you're gonna be uh, you still spend D four rounds trying to figure it out. This is a D four round action. What do I see when I look at this castle just right now? You see wooden and stone walls. Um, the inside's being licked by flames. The glass is cracking. Uh, it's bright, and you can feel the heat emanating from the front door. I guess every action I want to make is going to come from this, so I'm just going to roll for it. 30. 30? Thir wow, you, you actually did it. <laughs> okay, give me a d4. One. You spend one minute. You spend the whole round ah. examining the building. Perfect. And you're what like, are you, well... you, MacGyver? This guy over here. Yeah, you, just fuck. you examine the building. You look at it. You realize that, you know what? If this rages out of control anymore, it looks like the front of this keep is going to collapse. The um, front it, of the keep a, being where we exited? Yes. It looks like the front is going to collapse. It, it's hard. It's too hard to tell whether it's going to collapse. No, I rolled the 30, so I'm going to ask you a lot of questions here. If right. I look at the corner of this castle, which I'd assume is probably some sort of spire or something, is that mm -hmm. going to collapse? Or can I lance of disruption all of that away and make a path for her to walk out? Um... The corner of the building. Like I want to shoot this cor I want to shoot a path that is going to go straight into this building where I would suspect that no one is going to be, or she's not going to be. Sorry, space right. will not be. You would, 
Lance of Destruction opinion, is not strong enough to blow the explosion. Lance of Destruction is not large enough to blow a hole in the side of a fortress. Uh, um, so it, says, it says half foot of stone. Fragile stonework to Flinders. Barn wood, wooden doors can be blasted to their hinges and even sturdy iron bound doors or heavy stonework can be seriously damaged by the Lance of Disruption. So seriously damaged. damaged. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to blast through an entire wall with a single Lance of Disruption. I will say that you could... What about a fireball? beautiful 30... <laughs> Engineering check. Fireballs um, got us here, JP. <laughs> Fireball setting things on fire. It didn't destroy the... It didn't blow a hole. I know. We're sure. joking. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you would... You reason, having seen the inside, the outside, seeing how these things are going, if you lance of disruption the doorway, the actual doorway itself, you theorize that it might be enough force to actually knock out uh, the fire at least temporarily until it can go back and possibly, you know, like blow the, the flammable scraps and everything aside and clear a so, non-flammable. Hold on. Let me, let me look at something real quick. Uh, damage is 24 to 12. How much HP do you have? 28 to... Well, I can't make my action until next round, so go ahead. Right. Uh, next round. Um... That's it. End of that round, the the general says, "Men, stand down, stand down." And do the men listen to him? Yeah, they listen. <laughs> they they drop their bows slowly. Um, you know, it's kind of arrows still notched, but you know, pointed at the ground, and then kind of slowly un unbending them, but still keeping them notched. I say into his ear, "Good choice, sir." You were asked to come back alive or dead. It seems that you have chosen alive. See to it that you remain that way. Tariq, what do you do? Um, what do I see? You see the the build, the burning building. Um, do I see anyone inside? You. This is about the time. It's been two rounds. Actually, you can you you just saw um, spades coming down around the outside on the second floor. So I, hold I hold action. You hold action? Okay. Yes. I'll go Sense. at the end. Wait, wait, wait. So only he sees this and he doesn't... Yeah, you can see that. Can you I can have a conversation it. with Ryan without using both of our rounds? Yeah, if it's a short conversation, but be uh, careful. I, I scream, Tariq, where's spades? Coming down the stairs. Get the fuck out of the way. All right, I step aside. I cast Lance of Disruption at the door. All right, you Lance of Disruption the door. Do I need to roll damage? Side. No, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, you blow apart you know, all the carpets, all the tapestries, all the anything that was, you know, light or inflammable nearby has just been knocked back into the um, stairwell staircase. Um, and then I scream, Tariq, go find spades. Spades, I need you to give me a saving throw versus death. It's probably just to see if you fall over. 16. No problem. Asked. All right, Nailed you it. Duck underneath the banister as you know uh, a weapon rack, you know, filled with ornamental weapons, like slams against the staircase. Splinters everywhere. Fabric and burning scraps of everything pile around you. You duck for a moment as it <laughs> collapses, and you fucking take off down the staircase. Tariq runs in the front door. You go down the staircase. You guys end up like meeting at the base of the staircase. I jump in his arms. <laughs> 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 Tariq, the the dwarf leaps into your arms, uh, and it's I'm guessing about a 200 pounds worth of weight. <laughs> she's poorly. damn girl. What do you eat? <laughs> well, she's got like, <laughs> she made no, and I'm, weapons. Yeah, and stuff. I'm I, I just scream quickly to get out. It's going to collapse. <laughs> All right, so we run out. Okay, you guys run out. Everyone makes it out to the courtyard. Your horses are fucking terrified as shit. The other horses are terrified as shit. There, you know, I have a twenty in riding proficiency. I calm my motherfucking horse down immediately. What is this character? <laughs> <laughs> How do you have a, what's your willpower? You're just making up shit right no, now. No man, uh, I summon mount. Riding proficiency is based on his intelligence. The and he flies it Intelligence? No, riding proficiency is based on willpower. Neil, I swear to God. Willpower. Hold look. on, I'm gonna look. Yeah, guys, yeah. You do look. it after. Nobody cares. Yeah. Seriously, I have oh, to go. You guys, okay. You Let's guys grab it. your horses. Oh, yeah, it's wisdom plus three. I have 17 willpower, so 20. There you go. Boom, there lawyered. Go. Let's go. Yeah, it's fine. You guys grab your horses. You throw the general across 
uh, Victorian's horse. I have his hands and stuff, too. I've got a rope. Yeah. Uh, and you guys fucking take off out of the fort uh, as it starts, you know, as it's burning. Yeah, Esteban. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's the episode. Let's do some shout outs because I know Jeff has to go. Why don't you uh, do some shout outs first, Jeff? A uh, couple things. I noticed people said, pick up the warrant. Uh, and I do appreciate people getting involved in the story, but to explain that before people hate me on YouTube, which will just happen anyways, I guess. But it was torn in half, and it's in a heated fighting situation where a guy's running. Obviously, strategically, the better choice would be to pick it up, but I didn't think that Victorian would think of that, so that's one of the things we passed by. Uh, had a great time tonight. Uh, I know I get intense, and some people are like, Josh, salty and stuff like that. Not salty at all. Had a totally fun time. Uh, on my other monitor, there's StarCraft going, so if I'm looking off, it's because I'm just watching something while, while things are going on. Um, I'm looking forward to doing it again. Though, that's what somebody who is salty would say. Is if not <laughs> Damn it, fair. Ryan, by saying that, you know what you just did to me. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We had an amazing audience today. I thought we, we, I think we actually got up to 6,000, if not we more. We broke 6,200, I think, which is cool. Really? I hope you all come back. We have this much fun and more every single time. Uh, usually there is a pound town that's used, but Neil was feeling <laughs> dry this week. Um, the action is usually about as exciting as this, and we usually have one crazy person, a.k.a. Jen, this time around. So... Uh, it's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, follow me on Twitter, Eugene Control, and that's it. Thank you. Cool. Neil. What's up, guys? Um, in about half an hour, maybe an hour, I got to go talk to him. I'm going to be doing Love Bites with my new roommate, Patty. That is a guy's name, even though it's Patty. Uh, it's going to be great. He's hilarious. So if you have any questions for Love Bites, send them to Koibu at regalgoblins.com. We'll be happy to answer them. That's over at twitch.tv slash Koibu. And the other big important thing that I'm doing is a 120-hour marathon stream. next Not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that. That is Tuesday the 27th. That means Tuesday at noon to Sunday at noon. That is five days, 120 hours. I'm going to try it. We're going to see uh, the My Sunday God. beforehand or the Saturday beforehand. I'm going to do probably a Reddit AMA on marathon streams. Is that five days? It's five days without sleep and before you send me all the pms oh my god you're going to kill yourself you're going to hurt yourself do, do you some get a research. lot of do some real research not just one article that says it's bad for you but, actually look but into Neil, a little Web bit md says it's not good to stay up late web md's always right yeah what and neil you're gonna get cancer i know <laughs> but, that, are we good neil is that shout outs i'm done i'm done all right jen do some shout outs all right thanks you guys for watching the show um, yeah, just make sure to follow me at livinpinksc2 on Facebook and YouTube.com slash livinpink. Follow me on twitch.tv slash livinpink because I plan on streaming this weekend. I'm going to make yeah. people vote for what I'm going to play. Every competitive game I can think of will be in the list, so you can just vote between those. And, oh, and probably Child of Light too because I just got a key. Yay! Um, so yeah, just do that and check out Misclicks every Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. EDT, where we play more D&D, more, more, with Neil as a DM. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Ryan, close this out. Hey, Twitch TV, it's me again. <laughs> if you guys Why watched last so week. so funny? <laughs> I did a pretty sweet shout out. I'm going to do another one this week equally as sweet thank you guys so much for watching us tonight i enjoy playing Tariq. i enjoy you guys watching me play Tariq. thank you guys so much if you want to if you want to follow the stuff that i do check Sounds out like NPR. Uh, <laughs> check out twitch.tv slash ryuzilla i have some pretty sweet emotes over there i've got bear ones pizza ones even my old beard, which isn't as good as it is in the emote. You can also check out my, my Twitter, at MLG Ryan. That's where my Twitter's at. And my YouTube, youtube.com slash Ryuzilla. Tomorrow, guys, uh, it's date night, so I'm going to be on a date instead of streaming. But Saturday, Saturday is the day I will be streaming next. So, Do you guys feel that change in tone? Be, be on the lookout, bros. You got to be more excited about date night, man. Otherwise, your girl's going to watch this video. Be like, wait a second. <laughs> cool. Tomorrow's she, date night. She, but she can you make, can you make a new character with this voice and this tone all the time? <laughs> I, I oh, definitely. God. That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, Hello, travelers. Let me tell you. 
Ryan, well, we don't have to wait that long. Ryan will just that. DM his whole show, and the entire cast will just be very like single single shaded personality people. It'd be great. Single I'll sided. Pass out. Uh, mm-hmm. As for me, thanks for everyone for watching. It was an awesome episode. We'll have the first vod here as soon as it processes on YouTube. Um, I think this is all still theoretical, except for the cast, which is 100 percent concrete. Uh, next Thursday at 8.30 Eastern, we're going to be doing another one-shot episode with DJ Wheat DMing a session of Apocalypse World with myself, uh, Caitlin, Maggie, a.k.a. Perfect Storm, and Dodger from Polaris fame. So if you want to check that out, uh, we'll have more information in the future. Uh, the next episode of Roleplay is this Sunday where we have Roleplay R&D continuing with Pendergon. Apart from that, we'll let you guys know when we're playing Solemn next time. We're out. Bye-bye.